Hey guys, I'm currently just sitting in my garage. I just finished like a quick little morning sweat session. Hey guys, Matt Fraser here and we're in my home gym. Hi guys, this is Laura here. Hi guys, any thoughts that are here coming to you from Frederick, Iceland? Hey guys, Noah Olson here sharing a couple of thoughts on the coronavirus situation. Obviously everything is now continuing to unfold. There's a lot of stuff that we don't know. I think we're at kind of the beginning stages of what this thing can turn into, hoping for the best for everyone. My training hasn't really been altered at all. You know, I have my own gym set up so I can be as self-sufficient as I want. Anytime we go into, into the gym, uh, we're usually there in off hours, so we don't overlap with too many people. Coronavirus hasn't affected my training all that much. Um, my gym is closed. We are still cleaning it excessively to make sure that whenever we can reopen, everything is completely clean um, and good to go. I'm very fortunate that my training schedule hasn't changed too much. I I've been working on my garage gym, my home gym here for the past year, and I can do most of my training here. And I was doing most of my training here leading up to the West Coast Classic, which was supposed to happen uh, this coming weekend. Obviously, the current state of affairs is not ideal for anybody, um, specifically in the CrossFit realm, that's what I'll speak to. Uh, just with limited access to our gyms, um, social distancing. It's too early to tell for me right now what I'm gonna do next as far as competitions go. I'm really excited to compete again. I really enjoyed Dubai and was really happy with how that went. I wanted to compete again. I was looking forward to San Diego, the West Coast Classic, which was you know, supposed to be this weekend. I'm a big believer in just making do with what you have, doing the best you can with the things that you have at your disposal. So regardless if your gyms have been shut down or you're having a hard time with a lack of minimal equipment, there are resources out there. So just search them out because there are resources out there that can help get you in a good, keep you in a good workout routine and really make the best of this situation. Uh, for me, my routine really hasn't changed too much. Uh, and I'm very fortunate to have a garage gym. And so I'm doing a lot of my training in that and uh, just kind of keep it on, keep it on. Well, I am super fortunate. I have a nice home setup and we can go. Right now we are at the summer house and at my parents' summer house, they have a pretty perfect setup for me. So I'm actually so bummed I didn't get to compete at the West Coast Classic. Literally my whole, like everything I've been working towards, I almost got a little depressed. I love being around people. Uh, I love my training partners. I love seeing everyone at the gym. I usually hang out at the gym five, six hours at least every single day. So that's a huge change for me. This is Justin from the Morning Chalk Up. So giving you a little bit of an update on what's going on in our world. Um, I'm here in my condo here in Southern California, across the street, Disneyland is completely shut down. You know, this weekend we were actually gonna be at uh, the West Coast Classic. Last weekend, Tommy Marquez was out in uh, Quebec for uh, to be covering the Atlas Games, and we're gonna head on to Germany and Iceland, and then a whole bunch of sanctions after that. And basically, everything is just grounded to a halt. I had to fly home from Montreal after the Atlas Games was uh, canceled. Um, I had to fly home early to get home in time, um, which ended up being a good thing because now the borders from Canada and US are closed. Just wanted to send some love to all of our fellow affiliate owners, to all of your members, to all of my members, and to the entire CrossFit community and your families. I really truly hope you guys are doing okay during this super weird, super bizarre, unprecedented time. You know, I definitely, people are disappointed. Um, that they can't go to the gym after work or in the morning before work. Um, you know, it's just the gym is what a lot of people look forward to in their day. Um, so I think it's disappointing that that's taken away, that they can't socialize with their friends. Um, but I don't think anyone's mad. I think everyone understands what's going on. We're renovating the basement in the next couple months here, so I'm going to have a real gym set up, which I'm very excited about it. But uh, for now, we got bench press, we got a squat rack, got an assortment of kettlebells, rec bag, whole bunch of bumper plates, weight vest, dumbbells. Also got bike erg, and then also got a ski erg that doesn't fit in these low ceilings. Hey, what's going on guys? So I could sit here and talk about how the coronavirus has changed my plans for the season 
and how the coronavirus has changed my ability to train and how I train. But I think there's honestly just enough negative stuff out in the world about the coronavirus and enough, you know, there's nothing really positive coming from it. So instead of talking about how it's changed things, from a negative aspect, I'd like to talk about how it's changed things from a positive aspect. And the coronavirus has allowed me to get outside the gym more. Yesterday I went and ran at the track. Today I went and ran at a local trail. Um, I went and shot my bow today. I mean, you, the coronavirus is allowing you to get outside your comfort zone and do things that you aren't really used to. You know, one of our, our, our chief creative officers over here from, uh, he was about 25 minutes away, and we did a little bit of work here for a couple of hours, talked about some ideas, talked about some of the development that we're going through, and then we went to my garage, and we hung out and we did a workout, which is, which is awesome. And that's back to kind of the roots of where CrossFit is. And that's one of the benefits, at least silver linings that I'm seeing here. Today I've been spending the morning trying to figure out a gym setup. We've got a nice little area with some equipment out front of our house, but not too much. We're missing a squat rack, a pull-up rig, all of that stuff if I was gonna go full-time training here. No, now, it's even harder for businesses to scrape by and people are struggling um, for every single dollar and so it's definitely a whole lot harder to sell a fitness program. It's harder for a lot of businesses right now. I have some very close people around me that, you know, they're told they're not allowed to work for the next month and they're kind of biting their nails of, oof. So it's definitely affecting some people around me. Um, I've reached out and told them like, hey, like, if you need help, let me know. Uh, for me, I'm training in open gym when there's no one around. Um, sometimes there's a few coaches there. Otherwise, I'm taking a lot of training outdoors um, or at home. We do have a bit of a setup here at home. A little weird because it's only me at the gym and my music, so no one's working out. There are no classes, coaches, no one is allowed but me. They knew that we were going to plan to offer uh, at-home programming completely. Um, we were going to check all of our equipment out to our members, so basically anything that could be easily carried and put into a car, they were going to be allowed to check out for free. Uh, the only caveat was that they would have to bring it back whenever the gym reopened, and if they didn't bring it back, we would charge them for it, which I think is a pretty fair, pretty fair arrangement. With everything being pushed back and pushed back, um, there's a lot of unknowns. We don't know when or if we're going to be able to compete again. Um, a lot of people are still going to be scrambling for a game spot or scrambling to, you know, win prize money because uh, that's their livelihood, right? People are competing full time. Financially, uh, the whole world is going to be a little bit worried. Um, but I think from now, if you've got a bit of spare time, take an action plan. Like work out where you can save money, where you don't need to spend. Um, just be smart. But with that, everyone's in the same boat. The least I can do is, um, you know, just try and, you know, send out a positive message as much as possible in, in terms of, you know, trying to keep people training and moving around and, and you know, staying healthy and, and thinking about things that they can do to keep their immune system strong. Um, and, you know, to always support your local affiliate. Um. Support your boxes. Can't say that enough. Support your boxes. I'm continuing to spend and pay for my membership. I hope that you continue to pay for your membership if you are financially able to do that. Uh, but at the end of the day, we uh, have all of our community support. We have had so much love sent our way and we are so incredibly thankful and blessed and just continuing to count our blessings for each and every one of our members. Break has definitely affected my training. Every gym in Denmark is now closed and I'm still able to do some training at home, such as body weight, go out mobility. I've been fortunate enough to borrow an old uh, industrial building. It's where I'm training at the moment. I was fortunate enough to borrow some gear from a box owner I know, and then uh, I have my own barbells and we're making it work. Also, the machines I've borrowed. But then I was told like, this isn't about you. This is about the people you come in contact with who maybe aren't as healthy. Um, so I think, I think that's important to remember um, that you're not just trying to protect yourself, you're trying to protect all the people that you do come in contact with. It wouldn't have been such a big deal, but I actually decided to try and get my house on the market about three weeks ago. So I take my whole garage gym 
and I bring it to my mom's house just to make space for all of this stuff that you can't see, but it's just like a bunch of stuff from inside my house getting ready to sell. My mom's in her 60s. Obviously, I can't go over there in case I have the thing, so now my garage gym is in isolation down the road. I'm trying to really like not feel sorry for myself or plans canceled or the unknown because every single person in this world has had plans canceled these past couple of weeks and are worried about um, their job or their business. So I think if we all step back and see that we're all in this together and we're all in the same pool. You know, it, it affects everybody. And, and I think, you know, financially for us, there's a lot of uncertainty with small businesses and sponsorships. And I mean, I even work outside of CrossFit and my clinic that I work at is closed now. I was just thinking about it this morning that I was supposed to be starting to compete at West Coast Classic. And next week I was supposed to be going home to Iceland and seeing my family and my friends there. The places where you train, um, if you are able and if you're still employed and are still making you know, decent money um, and you train at a particular gym that you love um, and they have to you know, shut down, do your best to support them anyway because if, you know, if everybody pulls away their support, you know, they're not going to be there when this thing blows over, which it eventually will. With the way the world is now, we are one world. We are all so connected. So I feel like it's it's honestly a chance for the world to show that we are there for each other, that the countries are there for each other. CrossFit sort of started as a grassroots community, right? A community built around garage gyms, built around people showing up to people's houses and in, in teams of like three or four, and just working out in a small grassroots community. And that's essentially what the coronavirus is giving it to us now, right? It's allowing us to go work out in a small community. It's allowing us to reconnect with things we haven't maybe done in a while. I really don't think I can complain. Yes, we don't have good weather, but this is not too bad. Stay as positive as you can. Maybe use this time to slow down, um, recover your body. That's what I've been using it for. I've been doing a lot more go -wad. Um, I've had time to let my body rest um, and then just take a breather. I don't really see anyone or like I don't really hang out with my friends anymore right now because everyone is at home or doing their stuff. So it's a little lonely. You know, try to be productive in this time. You know, if you're locked in your house, uh, make use of the time. We can sort of take a step back um, and, you know, just, yeah, take some time to be with family, um, get outside, exercise outside and, and do things to maintain your health and fitness, but do it in as safe a way as we can. I haven't been able to see my CrossFit community from my affiliate locally. So the people that I go in and, you know, spend time with and catch up with and spend some quality time with at the gym, um, that has kind of gone by the wayside for the time being as well. And I haven't been able to see my family. You, you kind of get wrapped up in the hibernation and the excuse, well, all the events are canceled, so I guess, what am I gonna do? What, what am I training for now? Or I think you can make the choice to come out of this thing stronger than ever. Yeah, it's changed a lot of things for the negative aspect, but talking about the negative things isn't really cool. Instead, the coronavirus has given us a lot of ample opportunity to do things that we wouldn't have necessarily have done. It will, it'll bounce back and you know, we'll make do and we'll come out on the other side of this better. When this is all said and done, I think we're gonna be so appreciative of our normal days and to be able to go to the gym and to be able to go to work and kids go to school. Um, we'll, we'll bounce back better for this.